Hi, my name is Tanvir. On behalf of my co-authors, today I'm going to present my case study paper playing games through interactive data comics to explore water quality in a lake. So, how many of you have heard about comics? I hope everyone. Well, we all had experiences of reading superhero comics in our childhood, but do you know it can also be used to make sense of raw data? So today, I'm going to tell you a story of Anika and Anne who are specialized in co-design and art-based methods. They have a new project where they need to teach teenagers about water pollution in a lake by using some water data collected by water experts of a local lake called Vesiarvi and is situated near Lati in southern Finland, which got polluted in 1960s and a restoration program that started in 1970s. So the problem is these data, they are in numbers, charts and graphs, which is too complex to understand. They don't know how to explain this data to those teenagers who has limited data literacy skills. In citizen science projects, involving general people in scientific research activities is increasing day by day. And co-design is a design process where participants from different mindsets and backgrounds are involved. But do you know that in co-design process, data can often support by providing additional insight towards the problem? Well, yes. But the problem is not everyone has the expertise to understand raw data. Also, these co-design workshops, they're typically time limited. So it's not possible to learn and teach new data literacy skills in the workshop. Data is always too complex to understand for those people who doesn't have that much data literacy skills. It would be really good if we could make the data simpler, fun and interesting for a co-design workshop so that people could understand it. There must be some way. Well, the good news is there is a way. So what is this way we are talking about? We are talking about of an existing data-driven storytelling method called data comic. We can use this method in co-design workshop to improve the sense making of data. So that's great. We will have something new in our workshop something which has never been used before. But actually, using data in co-design is not a new concept. It has been used in co-design in many different aspects, but the options are limited if we think about embedding curated data. Data collected through citizen science activities can act as a useful resource in co-design to support problem solving. So that's it. Anika and Anne were planning to use the history and water data of a local lake called Vesiarvi. So they can tell the story in an interactive way based on data comics and raise awareness about water pollution's causes and effects, which was the goal of their workshop. So why don't we use some games to make it more interactive? For example, some card games? Well, we made two games based on the concept of data comics so that the workshop will be fun, playful and interactive. Let me introduce the games. The first game is speed dataing and the second game is how to buy. In speed dataing, key information on the cards will be some basic introduction of the water element as a comic character, their levels and impacts in lake water and causes of fluctuation in their level. How to buy it is based on a US television show card game where they start playing the game with a random card and the player needs to guess if the next card uh, will be higher or lower. We use the same strategy here, focusing on water data. And here you can see the designs for the two games. On left one is the speed dataing and on right is the hockey bike. So now I guess you are wondering, how did we come up with those design ideas? Thanks to Benjamin Beck, the data comic strip used in these card games was designed based on the design pattern of Benjamin Beck. So for pattern, we selected the temporal pattern for the Hauke Bytes comic panels, where each panel representing a decade's worth of data. We combine this with a narrative pattern where we explain the history, made a connection between the reader and the data, and lastly ended up with question and answer. The comic panel used in speed data reflects the exposed pattern under narrative pattern, which introduces data, context, problems, questions, and demonstrating importance. 
We had another idea which supported us to interpret those data in our co-design workshop. We conducted the workshop based on a concept of data drama and include some art-based methods. Art-based methods are based on specific forms of arts. Finally, Anika and Anne are done with their workshop. To support the data drama, they used an imaginary character called Nakitar, who came from the future with a puzzle. And here you can see some pictures from the workshop. So after the workshop, we performed a survey with those students who acted as a facilitator during the workshop. Our goal was to analyze how the card games and data comics affected participants' output. The open-ended survey responses were analyzed with inductive thematic analysis. Following their six phases process, we coded the answers and generated themes in front by our research questions. With the analysis, the process resulted in four different themes. The first one was sense making. All the facilitators agreed that the card games were simple and helped students to understand the topic. Everyone agreed that it was an interesting and easy way of visualizations. It was also interactive. Participants mentioned that the games were effective to start a conversation and helped in teamwork. The only problem that we found was the design issues. Some of the participants mentioned that it was difficult for them to understand the card and gather information data to come up with a solution. These are some quotes from the participants that we gathered from our survey. We also video recorded the whole workshop and then analyzed the video to see how participants were engaging with the game activities. Based on the analysis, the game process had three distinct stages. So what do we think about data comic and card games? Did they actually work? Our research question was what role do data curation and data visualization play to support sense making within a time limited situation such as co-design? I think the combination of art based framing alongside card games was very important. The games supported to understand the data and art based approach supported sense making. Data comic can be used to increase engagement and to quickly convey information. It is highly effective to convey information efficiently to inspire collaborative ideation if participants are not data expert or domain expert.